Oh. Oh. Phenomenal. <laughs> Time to stream. There we go. Marlon, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Oh shit, guys, it's great book of grudges. Bad moderator. Rap porn. That rap porn up. Not rat porn. If you haven't, go and head on over to the great book of grudges. Book of grudges. He has got a budding YouTube channel where he is covering a lot of awesome shit. So please, 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 um, go check out Great Book of Grudges. He's covering right. He just put up a video on Cathay just yesterday. Um, so he pretty much is discussing uh, Cathay as playable race for Total War Warhammer Three. He goes over a lot of lore in Warhammer. So please, please, please go and check out the mighty Great Book of Grudges. Um, so let me see, let me catch up. Of course, man. Of course. Really enjoy your banner gameplay. Which faction? So we're probably going to go with Empire. Just because this is, so the, the goal here, guys, is this is going to be a modded mini campaign. I'm running a crap ton of mods, and it took me like an hour, hour and a half to get this all fixed and running. Um, it was kind of a pain in the ass. But you can find the mods in the description below, so go ahead and use those. Um, I'll show you what detailed character creation does, Metahan, but... I don't think it's working right now. I, I have it loaded in, but it wasn't really actually booting up. Let's go ahead and press campaign. Start a new campaign. I gotta find a. I gotta find a banner on Bannerlord banners. Forgot to do that. Do that here in a second. Yeah, see all this crap. Applied patch. I don't. I don't even. We got the community thing on, and I might have to shut that off. So this might be kind of a jankety stream, and I do apologize, guys, so ahead of time if it is. Um, it's just kind of been really weird. Trying to get some of these patches going. Um, but we'll go with uh, probably... We'll just go Empire. I'm going to make it pure Empire all the way through. I think Blondie has probably got the best cultural bonus. Uh, just because that, that upgraded troop XP. But the troop XP is changing in the next beta branch. So that will not be as advantageous. Uh, the game where my kingdom conquered every city kingdom and enabled with chopping off the head of... On showing the worst leader. Jesus Christ, man, he's barbarian. <laughs> a vote for a playthrough without shielded infantry. Dick Schultz, that's insane. Did you say Evan? I was singing that song the other day to Karina, and she was like, hmm, "What the hell is that?" I'm assuming you're knowingly. What song was I saying? What did I, dude? I don't. Evan, I have no recollection of this place. So we'll go pure empire. Yeah, the the Sturgian one is terrible. So bad. No, no, they're not nerfing troop X XP. They're uh, they're actually adding it. They're they're giving more. Oh, uh, <laughs> phenomenon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, na na na. So, detailed character creation is supposed to add more sliders right here, and so far not so good. Shoulder to shoulder, guy, you pig. Shoot arrows. I know nothing, Moncot. I wish it was out right now. I've almost, I've almost conquered the entire map, having a great time. I'm an old i. I have an old i5. I have to be careful about which mod I use. Upgrade PC. Well, uh, Vesta, you could probably um, or is it Westo Westo Brea? Um, you could probably get away with just lowering the some some graphical settings. You should be fine. Additional points in the skill tree? What did you mean by that? I mean, small person. Now, let's just, let's just cut the chase. 
Boom and boom. I mean, we, 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 we all know the kind of character I'm going to make right out the gate. He's of the Empire, so he's got to have a bit of nicer beard. Look at that. That's a little bit more me. But it also is kind of like a little scraggly. Like, I mean, dude, like, I don't know what it is. When I go to shave my beard, one side gets more tapered than the other. Goblin. I kind of got a little bit going for it. Nice high and tight. Kind of like that little Will Riker going. Little number two. Trying to bone all the indigenous people that enter the, the, the starship. Yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll do, pig. But tackle some good one we like. Broader face, kind of like that, huh? Although Evan and Benton, they got the beauty mark. I did not. That looks like frigorously just. Jason, what's up, dude? If there's one thing I wish I'd do, look at the, the sadness in these eyes, like, I've seen hell. So it's, is it Waysta or, or is it Vesta? It's Waysta Freya, right? Wallen vibes. Look at that, like the frosties on these little bad boys. Look at that, that's just like... I pivot you upward? I can't even like... You have such a, such a fucking brow. It goes well, man. How are you? Biggest dickus. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I kind of want to just go full, full, uh, full blinded, bro. Going to be a man of the empire, I'm thinking. Never done a guy with a cataract. <laughs> Dick Schultz, you son of a bitch. Ooh, look at that, dude. They just took a fucking blow of the face. Yeah, do we go with a guy with a one one eye scar here? Hold on, I'm taking a look real fast at... Uh, Banlord Banners. Reddit.com. Um, An Imperial Faction real fast. For the first time, I feel like you've been on stream before. I don't know why my voice went up so high, but I feel like I've been up here. That's a pretty... Hmm. Ooh, the banner, the Dragon Age 2 Kirk wall symbol. That's pretty cool. Eight banner. Not doing because eight guys. Ghost of Tsushima banner? That's fucking... I mean, if you've never gone to Bannerlord banners, you need to do yourself a favor. And So awesome. You get, there's so many good banners here. Top banners. Top. The top one's this. Oh, Witch King banner? That's pretty cool. Here is... Bannerlord banners. Dostock, what's up, dude? Hey, happy birthday, everybody. Please, in chat, wish Dostock095 a happy birthday. Two I scores. You, you have to download a mod called Banner Paste. That's the circle. That's pretty cool. A Numenor banner? That is sick. Please tell me someone made that. Ooh. Oh. Um, I figure we'll just take this time and do it now, or else, you know? Oh. Um, Subbo Winters, they should be in the description.
Do a little empire type that in here. Russian Empire. That's pretty cool. You guys know how much I love all things Russian and Slavic. Some of these banners, like I said, if you've not checked out Bannerlord banners, you really need to. Because they are fucking cool. Some people make some really All right, what say you guys? Is this the banner we'll be using? I'm gonna keep going through character creation. You guys let me know if that's a banner y'all like. We'll move forward with that. Or, let me give you another option. All right, but we'll go with that one then. That seems pretty good to me too. Okay. You're okay. So we'll probably go writing, which is nice. You all know that currently, uh, we're supposed to be getting an overhaul and change to this whole system. So the kind of method that we're going to use to create our character now will probably change in a week or two whenever we get that patch. So, urban merchants or landlords, probably what we're going to go with. Um, I need to, I, I, I have like a problem with like no, so awkward, so here we go. Hopefully 1.5 is next. Uh, no, we're going to be doing uh, Empire just for now because this is probably going to be like a one or two uh, um, episode stream. I'm just, I really wanted to play Bannerlord. Um, so this is kind of how I'm scratching that itch till we get the, the big sausage. I really don't know what that means. You know what I've never played? I've never played with crossbow. Should we give crossbows a go? Because so when we do the Valandia camp, the next campaign is going to be Valandia, um, and I want to do crossbow like a knight with crossbow because I, I really want to give that a shot charm I'll scratch it all up in this piece hey Sean what's up dude I could do it now to kind of give it a shot. Um, I 
Wait, so is it? Bulge plus crossbow join the dark side. That'd be pretty cool, actually, Alf. Thanks. How are you doing, by the way, Alf? Yeah, they made it easier to find it, uh, uh, grudges. They, they added a zero skill crossbow to the game, which is huge. <laughs> Yeah, I've got the community patch on. We've got community patch. No Bannerlord tweaks, though. Um, This is... Martin Otessin, this is a good representation of my adolescence up to now. I was bald since the day I was born. Ephirum Va says, Hey Italian, during the end times... What did the Incarnates actually do? I'm going through a Gelt campaign and I'm curious how him being an Incarnate would change him. Um, they kind of harnessed that specific wind of magic to their own devices. Like, for example, what's his nuts? Um, who is the Slayer King? Not Thorgrim. Ungrim. Iron Fist went supernova. Like, he explodes as, like, the, the incarnate of fire. I think he was the incarnate of fire at that time. Like, a lot of them jump around, too. Like, Teclis takes two incarnates in at once, and that, like, blows him up. Um, Grimgore is the incarnate of beasts at one point, I think. Or, no, uh, uh, yeah, beasts. I Honestly, I can't remember as well. Um, Big Daddy, not Sigmar. Uh, Karl Franz is the incarnate of heavens. They pretty much just kind of become, like, a demigod. Okay, so we'll go Endurance there. Yeah, uh, frickin', frickin' moron. Uh, they did say that, and I'm actually kind of excited for that, because I think it'll be very helpful. We're gonna go with your tutor, because this will give us some bonus to our intelligence. It does give us engineering, which isn't awesome, but it'll help out with our steward gaining. Can I start with a crossbow? It's portly, though. Look at this guy. Infantry, like it's throwing, march with the camp follower. Yeah, Franz does become, uh, what's his name, Sigmar. Or with the scouts, I mean, honestly, starting with a bow is so strong. This is kind of nice just to get that intelligence. Let me see here, we'll go there, and he also has a pretty solid setup too. I don't, I, if you know if they did, or Ephraim, it'll be at the very end of three in my mind. You defeated an enemy in battle. Battle brother. No, absolutely. I, I'm more than more than happy to answer those questions, dude. You did people well. Computer Raider will give us some one-handed dude. Look at that. Look, how, look at a look, look curmudgeon. Thorgrim is metal, Grimgore beast, Franz is heaven, Nagash, death, uh, magic, that's magic, and Malekith shadow, that's correct. So, and Malarian, who is basically Malekith in the um, Age of Sigmar, I have to kind of look at the lore for that, because I believe it's supposed to be like, I, I think it's that he conjoined with the soul of Anarian, that's why he's Malekith and Anarian is Malarian. I don't, I don't really know, to be honest, though. Like, that, totally conjecture. I have never looked up any lore for Malarian. I think we're a little too stacked down south now, so let's kind of pop. Kind of like this. We don't have any riding skill, but, dude, we can get so, we can get riding so fast. I think this is a good setup, right? We're gonna get a little bit of uh, athletics. We'll have two points in engineering, which is kind of like, almost feels wasted, but we'll have four intelligence, which is the nice thing. So our steward should increase quickly. Um, I, I don't I don't know, Crisps. I have no idea. Uh, but the name Malarian is Malekith and Anarian put together. I thought it was that, I thought Malekith merged with Seraphon. He doesn't. Uh, Sotek told me he does not merge with Seraphon. Oh, hey, man, I'm just telling you what he said, Brody. Calm down right now. 
Um, yeah, I think we'll do this. We'll try the we'll try our crossbows. We get ten points into one handed. Uh, Grudges, are you still about? Do you know um, you know the end times lore? I I can't remember off the top of my head. I don't have any of my end times books here. I stopped buying them after uh, after the third book. <laughs> then I just then I just relegated myself to the PDF. I was like, all right, well, this is gonna be stupid. But this will give us. It actually grudges the Lumineth book. Is pretty solid. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Like I said, be good here. We'll get writing up very quick. Eh, we'll just go with it. Oh, man. I think there's good names in here. And there are Dramatis Personae in this. Of course, why wouldn't there be? This one does. This will definitely have a good bunch of Empire names. Okay. Oh, done. My character's name is... Sagittarius Malak, Warrior of the Moratoi. Mor Moratoi. Actually, I think it's since it's Greek, it's like Moratoi. Or no, I don't. Greek. No, it's okay, great book. We had to move on somewhere or another. I didn't want to do it, but it's actually, like I said, it's actually really solid. Um, Since I'm a Sagittarius, I'll do this. I stand to record. Yes, Phil. Good rap. I know it's different than Sagittarius. Um. Sagittarius. Yes. Yes. Um. I was pretty opposed to Age of Sigmar lore, but I think when. Um, I saw Aaron Dembski Bowden kind of give it the the thumbs up. Hey, what's up, Paris? I was like, okay, maybe maybe this is worth investigating. And there's a lot of the the 1.0 lore that I just do not like. It's it's dude budget grudges. It is terrible. But the 2.0 lore. So the lore for the Eidneth Deepkin, dude, uh, Old World's gonna be great. The lore for the Eidneth Deepkin is very solid. The lore for the Lumineth Realm Lords is really good, and the lore for the Flesh Eaters Court is really good. A lock. It's basically the Flesh Eaters Court. Is all of like old Bretonia. They think that they think they're, they're all ghouls and, and um, vampires, but they think they're all Bretonians. I'm excited for the old world because I'm really excited to see what they're going to expand on. Okay, so we have a focus point we'll pop into here real quick. Charm we already get. We'll go to the barter penalty. Hey, painting coach, what's up, dude? If you don't drop it another, if you don't drop another five dollar donation, donate again because the rabbit hole I made the chat fall down. Excited for this stream. <laughs> no problem, man. Never ever feel compelled. 
Uh, I don't, Mark Platinum, I don't think I've ever used those. I haven't read the Bone Reapers. Is it good? I want to read the, um, the Slaves to Darkness book because that was written by Dembski Bowden. Troop. Okay. Staggering amount of troops there. You know, here's why it would be cool. Here's why the, um, what's it called is exciting, the old world. Because there is a chance that that means that they're going to possibly kind of revamp and give Araby like a good true Warhammer touch versus the kind of like over the top caricature as it is. And if that happens, that means we could possibly get uh, Araby in Total War Warhammer. Now, I don't really give a shit about Araby's presence in Total War Warhammer. I understand um, that, hey, we're, we're trying to distance ourselves from our old caricature uh, second and third edition uh, renditions of ourselves. I get it. I get it. We all, every company's kind of got that in their past. But if they were able to make a faction that kind of was like the, uh, the fan-made Araby where it takes a lot of uh, Seljuk Turk influence, Seljuk Turk influence or the quote-unquote Saracen influence and creates this kind of pseudo fantastical crusader era army it would be really really cool in total war warhammer because it would have a very different aesthetic um it just it would be able to kind of part away from a historical portion just enough to have a lot of really cool um mythological portions into it because there's a lot of really awesome middle eastern mythology behind a lot of things they could put into um warhammer especially the lore for the um the Jinn in Warhammer, which was actually expanded a lot in not Battlefield Gothic. What is in Dreadfleet? They, they have a pretty good lore in Dreadfleet, and it's like, man, the Jinn would make a, such a sick portion of, uh, especially the varying types of Jinn, would be really awesome. And so let me get some stuff. We're playing, we're playing Mountain Blade, man. For Warhammer questions, I'm not gonna just. Uh, Ottomans, yeah, it was Ottomans. That's why I said quote unquote Saracen. Get a couple of mules and create that. Good to go. Yeah, 100% agree with you, Grudges. A couple fishy poos. We'll wait here. We're trying to do ourselves a little, uh, little arena. You're getting a. Oh, you're, you're going to Maryland tomorrow, Paris? Right there, that's weird. I had to start out right there. Look at this. There's some jacked looters right out the gate. Not sure if I like this community patch so far. Right. Ratsy's a little bit going. You know what? Where is the closest ring? Volstrom and Jelmaris. Okay. Let's just do a quick little practice fight. I gotta I gotta sharpen my skills here. Okay. No! Ow. Ooh. What am I doing? Why am I jumping? Um, I don't know, sub. I always do western, so I'll either do northern or um.
I'll either do northern or... Eee! Southern. Oh, in the neck. Yeah, I've got that on right now, Mark. Okay, I'll uh, change that. Thank you, Oswin. Get out of here with your mace. Oh. 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 And I'm just trying to get my skills back here. I haven't really played in a long time. Oh, ow. Right in the face. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Yeah, what do you guys want? Uh, should I do Southern or Northern Empire? <clears throat> Ow! Aha! Oh! Dude. Don't worry about it, Paris. I, I appreciate the, uh, the, um, kind gesture, though, man. Aha! Let me kill you. Eastern. <laughs> oh! To hell with you! Uh, Jason Patrick Patrick Nani, you need to make sure that uh, you've enabled your DLLs because sometimes that will affect it. You have not done that. Must. My lord. A lot of southern. It sounds like you guys want me to go southern. Oh, yeah. Let's get in a little battle here. Go! Attack! I didn't know Northern was the hardest. Oh, oh my God. using the, the community patch, so all the perks are active. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I'd say of all the troops, I don't like Batanian. Like, very few Batanians do I actually enjoy. So the, the patch actually fixed the, the amount of experience that units gain, too. So... You can see these guys are almost all ready to go. Let's go four of them as archers. The other four will make uh, infantrymen.
I don't have, um, I unfortunately don't have settlement icons. It was not booting up, so. Will not bring settlement icons. Deliver the herd to Argoron. <sighs> John Maris was the other one in Volstrom. We're going to go to Volstrom. Baldur's Gate 2 heroin? Oh, look. Heroes. Let me see if I can gate arrow. Who do you mean? Yeah, Ellsworth. Edelfleta. It sees. Oh, uh, what's her nuts? Alice. I don't get it, Mark. What's the joke? Um, frickin' Morn. It shows Mitzi. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the half-elf. The half-elf? No, she's a full elf. Raised by a gnome. Um, so settlement icons will show you what the trade resource is for every single town. It'll show you if it's got a quest, and it'll show you if it's a, uh, a... Uh, my King is Christ. It's in the uh, description. It'll also show you where the, what's it called, are. Um, noble, noble like recruitment zones are. It sucks. I wanted to make my guy girthy. Which reminds me, heroes. Wanderers, who do we have here? Here? Brave is a good scholar. Hulk, be expected. Knowing. Yeah, they're supposed to be adding and changing a lot of quests. A lot of them, apparently. Hills and Fal hills would be good, or no, Falcon. Falcon is the tactics dude. Uh, Chris, we are scout. Declan, who's fire based though? Guys, I am playing the hell out of uh, what's it called? Ghost of Tsushima. I am loving it. Like, um, defeated Tepesh. Mark Platt, I would absolutely 100% agree with you on that. He was for the lesson once his daughter found and trained troops of Aunt Allison. Ooh, we'll do this one. All right, Dust Hawks, have a good one, dude. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna tag this right now because I need your guys' opinion. I'm gonna be changing some of this stuff, but I hope this works. So I just pinned my merchandise to the chat. Can you guys let me know if that worked? Because I need to ask you guys a question off of it. Yes, yeah. Oh, look at this. So I've got the uh, I've got the reworked diplomacy so I can converse with them. Uh, Burgonius is because they were having an issue with implementing some of them, but they will all be implemented. So move, Archer, move, in fact, forward. Did that work though? The the merchandise pinning thing. Okay. Yeah! Man, look at those skill gains. 
Little, little Tantan's here? Hey, little Tantan! Hello, how are you doing, Deadeye? Dude, look how much skill I'm getting from the heat from this patch. My army's all dead, but still. I was paying too much attention to uh, chat. Um, there's other things there, Phil. There's uh, shirts, there's posters, there's tote bags, blah, 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 blah. Um, but... I had to lead things in this. Aha! But, Butterlord's Companion Maker, I do not. Here, here's an example of another one. Unpin. Um, I'm going to be changing the items that I have in my merchandise store because some people were saying like, hey, if you had a, uh, um, if you had this, I would buy it. And it seems to be that the one thing people want the most of is a coffee mug. Is, are there any, are there other things you guys can think of? Cause I can do like, um, phone cases. I can do stickers. I can do so much. Oh, no, I got you, Phil. I, I was just letting you know. Like, I don't know what it shows you guys. It just it kind of, it's not very transparent to me. Um, let's go ahead and... All the rest. Dude, I, will, I should make a cut out of that crab costume. Looking unruly. <laughs> So, um, you were asking about crossbows earlier, grudges. So they added the light crossbow to the game so that you can actually... See, this doesn't require any skill. So you can use this right out the gate. And that's what it is. Interesting. Thank you, Osman. All right, so we we got like five levels. We're already level four because of this patch. <laughs> Let's go vigorous. Pop another thing into there. We'll get a little bit more here. Steward, I want to have that increase faster. We've barely gone anywhere on the map, and it's like through the roof already. Endurance will give that up a little. We'll pump that up a little bit. That should be good. Bubba Winters, I am, I hate the outdoors, that reason. Hey, look at that, that's a sweet little, uh, sweet little ditty. Go to the Tavern District, ransom our prisoner. Who are you? Okay, she's just like a general combatant, nothing special about her. I like to try and get the medic as fast as I can. Let's have ourselves a little romp in the hay, a romp, romp in the hay. This is gonna actually not be easy. Max bet though, let's see what we get, let's see what we get. Nothing great. Oh Christ, oh man, right in the ass, sorry dude. Keep moving. Oh. Oh my fuck. It's a staggering loss right there.
Uh, good call on me not having full health. I forgot. Oh well. Let's wait here and get some health. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh yeah, dead eye. Definitely realistic. The only thing I don't have on realistic is campaign map movement and uh, recruitment because I just don't want to fight against um oh shit I forgot gotta do that hey Joanna what's up dude oh I'm absolutely still playing I've been waiting for the um saw a young man and woman riot early in the morning they bought supplies and towards a Alapis. go um I've been wanting to play it but we've I've just been waiting for the patch Let us search the village. You know what? Got this camp. Where are they? Oh, look at them over there. Whoa! Beautiful, my horse looks. Is that like a community patch thing but yeah I was just waiting for the patch because I wanted to get uh, crazy stuff done with the game but the game look more beautiful than I remember it's a community patch thing um I had on good authority but I cannot confirm who or what like deep that I was coming out this week and then that authority um, didn't tell me what was going on they had encountered a little bit of an issue so I guess it's just kind of waiting for it oh, I know you're not forced to say that look at your hair you have this JBF hair you're acting all suspicious definitely got some, some kind of fucking weird happening Uh, we're just we're just playing as um oh man my, this is all terrible. Of course it was. Why wouldn't it be affected? Um, oh, fuck, man. Um. We're just playing Empire because I don't expect this to last very long. We're just kind of having fun with some odds. <sighs> okay, asshole. Why? Forgot how to play. Oh, that just throat throat jabbed him. Yeah, Mark, uh, it was actually supposed to re release last Thursday. You lost 50 Honor and 50 Mercy. So that's pretty cool. Did it. feud those can get pretty brutal. let's hold off on that Ooh, scoop up all these hot young men i was supposed to release last thursday and they're like it's gonna come out and then he said whoa actually we just encountered a critical bug not gonna come out so it got delayed and i thought it was gonna come on monday and it didn't oh you sons of bitches whatever we'll have some fun Go! Footman! Forward! Bowman! Move! Forward! Let's just get over there and start shooting. Did 
This is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good. Wasn't too bad. Get these guys. Get some shields in there. This is this patch is pretty cool. Like, I get a ton of experience, and all those guys, all my dudes, level up real fast. Usually, Kanoros is a noble hub. What do you mean by combat, Mark? They're supposed to be adding auto blo auto blocking back into the game. That will be a thing. A little bit of the herd of Epicreata. Over here. Yeah, so. Oros again. Yannicka and Volstrom. Again with Volstrom. <laughs> We're slowly building up that money. If you want to submit a link, you'll have to send it to me on Discord. Chat. It's crossbow. Daddy wants a crossbow. Give me that fucking crossbow. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty beastly, dude. I really enjoy it. There's a different imperial gambus in. Chunky. Ooh, excuse me. I mean, my skills are already like through the roof. My steward is not going up quickly, but it's because I don't have a lot of food variety. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. A little bit more money on food variety. Let's go fishes. That's not fishes. Oh, but we'll, we will all eat silver ore. Just a little bit, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, of this, and of that. Five hundred. I think the update will be next week. You bet. Based off of what they've been telling myself and some in the community. Yeah, I just got a ton. P.S. Don't get involved in editing loads of these parameters right now. Around 80% of the values will change pretty soon. Ooh. That makes it exciting. In troops, I do not want to do terrible, terrible. What's our health at? 100%. We got this this time. Imperial Lance. Not something I want. Money. I do. Alright, so I'm going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with another character. Not going to be fun. Of course, he's like small and jacked. 
So strong, he's so fast. Oh, Woo. oh, run the butthole. Dude, these guys are like, they're way stronger now, man. Um, because I also have turned on, I have an, a, a, a mod called use item skills. No, 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 not item skills. Use unit skills made by my little Tan Tan. And it actually will turn on the benefit that their skills give them. So this gives them actual bow damage. Does not do that in the base game. So they get... Those characters that are all jacked get all their massive bonuses to one-handed and everything like that. They're even more scary than they were before. Although I think they already got those, right? That's... Enable unit skills. Thank you, man. I need more horses to speed myself up, but... I need to win some fucking... Stuff. Footman, move! Infantry, move! Move! Archers! Form a shield ball with the four shields you've got. Man. Oh, I know what's going on. I forgot I have. Charge shit, man. I'm gonna fix this right now. Gameplay. <sighs> my mouse movement. That's my problem. Um, I was having a lot of issues, Tan Tan. It was breaking all my... Not it in specific. I, all my mods were just, like, being kind of an asshole this... This, uh... This morning, so I kind of had to just... I was like, alright, I know these ones work, I'm gonna just use these. I didn't know where the, where the issues were. But, I know you... He made another one that has, like, averages and stuff like that, like... Tan Tan's awesome, man. Pushing out some of the hot air. I had a feeling that this would just recycle it again.
Let's try our hand again. Oh, this is already off to a terrible start. We all remember him. I actually find if you don't have a shield, you can do some pretty crazy damage ability. Or, uh... Ah. I'm liking the i9. Brad, I like it a lot. People said it runs hot. It does not run hot that I've experienced. Oh! Pretty much just trying to keep him angled towards my archer, bro. Watch this guy just come at me all quick and shitty. Swing and a miss, but also a hit. Oh, good. Good. We've got all this money that we're putting on the line right now. For Serenor to come just... Oh my, look at him, he's armored too. Fucking jacked. Oh! What the... Screw my shield! No, I just cut right through that guy. I'm going to be uh, doing a little save scum on that. Why? Because I want to. Just double slash down the center. Didn't care. Split open my head. The, uh, the patch definitely makes combat very interesting situation. Oh, dude, this guy's gonna get butchered. It's like cattle, dude. Okay. This is not good. We'll, uh, we will dodge on that. God, man. You guys are just, like, you guys are roided out. Like, this is so much harder. <laughs> it definitely makes realistic realistic. Well, let's not get more true. Got plenty. Um, the other one was over at Zionica, so let's go do this. Oh, that's not good. I was like, they're all going to attack me, aren't they? Yeah. Infantry! Bowman, move! Infantry, forward! Archers, forward! Infantry, forward! Move! Uh! Archers, move! Infantry, forward! Yeah! Form a steel wall! Damn, man. 
Oh, fuck. Hey, we did it. Uh, we somehow did it. They level up so fast now. That's actually, we should hold on. Roots. All of them. But we don't want to push too far beyond this because it'll start to cost us too much. What's up, Nicholas? Cataphract lands, huh? Yeah, somehow. Getting some more health here. The cow thief. That's some scouting. I could grab him. Basic scouting. Defensive art, buddy. Mm, you're too expensive. I appreciate your candor, though, but... Lebro. Yeah. This is brutal. It goes to show you how, like, how easy the base game is because of those, like, non-existent skills. But I also love how fast everything is, like, increasing. Like, it's so awesome. Like, we're... What were we? Were we almost what? We're almost level 6. Like, and we're probably 20 days into this campaign. Huh? Level 6 it is! <laughs> Let's go steward. Uh, I am not going to be a ruler, so I will be access ruler. Uh, and all these perks are now active because of the community patch that we're using. That is also quite cool. Um, or you know what? No. I want a crossbow. We need to get money, though. We need to get some capital. We need to build up some... some income. Alright, now we'll go to the... See if we get any get luckier here. We just have one character here. Okay, two. We can deal with that. Yeah, I'm using a community patch that turns on a bunch of stuff. Okay, alright, okay, alright. Oh, crap. If, like blocking is a little bit different too like okay come on 
Yeah! Woo! There it is. He's almost dead. Uh, man pigeon eating. So all the broken perks are fixed. Um, it changes a lot of stuff, like all the mercy and all that stuff, all those like little side attributes. It fixes those and gives you um, actual generation towards them. It's a pretty comprehensive patch. It does a lot of stuff. Back to you again, huh, buddy? <laughs> Fuck! That was definitely there. Get him. Ah, yes. Woo! And spicy up in this piece. Oh, I almost walked into it. Fuck. So far, not so good. Far, not so good. It is so hard! Look at them, look how they're just cheering. Alright, I gotta I gotta reload that. Because I can't afford to really like lose. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh. If your save's coming, why don't you just turn the difficulty down? How about you don't backseat game? I'm having a good time. It's difficult in ways that it's never been before. <laughs> oh! Yeah, take that. Yeah, that's, well, that's what it's like when you all gang up on someone. Oh! You guys not gonna kill that dude? You're just coming out all over the place. If this guy kills all of us, I'm gonna be pissed. Thank you. Just come out of nowhere and stab me in the ass with a spear. Oh god, good. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> that Empire Peasant killed three people that round, headshotting two of them. That guy is the real MVP. I, I'm sorry I must come to this, Peasant. Watch, he's gonna just take me out right here. I thought he was gonna kill me. All right, big old duel here. Gotta take this one slow. Never mind. He just did sixty-four damage to me. Dude, I, I can't I can't beat the characters. The characters are so jacked. Alright, we just gotta I just gotta like I gotta get more armor before we even do any uh, arenas. Usually I'm so used to just doing arenas, getting quick income and then just buying a bunch of armor, but I can't do that. any armor right now that sounds pretty fucking this is the one i like yeah this is the really, really cool because right now I, I i have pretty pitiful armor
But usually the arenas too are a good way to get like initial um, income for armor. That guy hit me with at 64 damage with the first shot in Troops of Snow. Yeah, if they give them the same, if they give them the same weapons and shields, they should give them the same armor. Everyone should have like, um, I think everyone should just be given peasant clothes so that it's like two, three shots. So you kind of have to be wily about it. Daughter found. Well, we've already botched one of these. What's, what's the worst we could do here, huh? Oh. Shit. Castle the robber, his roguery. Reinforced padded mittens. Not what I... Whoa, whoa. Oh, is there anything... We need, like, some better armor. We are just not finding... I mean, even this... This isn't bad armor. It's not terrible to start out with. Maybe I just need to get, like, an actual... Competent headpiece. Really need to try the mod realistic battles and realistic armor. I tried it on realistic and then on very easy. In both battles, I could only damage some nobles by da by two damage early in the game. That sounds terrifying, man. Why? Well, I don't want that. <laughs> hey, True G, what's up, dude? We'll go with this. Just because we have no head armor. This will kind of even even us out a little bit. Just a little bit. It's pretty pricey right now, but... Asos. Alsasos. Asos. Sexies. Asos. I mean, I'm actually having a lot of fun. I like that it's super hard. But I'd like to get a companion by now. But... Sleepy Ammon. I should have you know I killed the last guy who disagreed with me. What's up, Sav? How are you doing? How do I know you're not being forced against your will, my lady? Man, I am. I have pretty good charm, and this is terrible. Um, Man Pigeon, give the stream a, a refresh. Sometimes that happens. Yes! Aha! Suck it! Not, not you, Sora. The, the, the sad guy, the sleepy dude here. Dragon Overlord, what's up, dude? Oops. 
What's wrong with your knees, man? Footman, archer, forward! Yeah! Infantry! Make us blow! Uh, Jim Boy, I have a mod for that, but they've made a couple passes on it, but there's always more they could do. It's hard to get that, man. If we buy a couple bit of product here, huh? It's because my internet's been kind of weird lately. Like, it. Sometimes the stream is just beautiful. Other times have been just it's just tanks. So if it does give you some problems, just please try and go ahead and give it a refresh. I apologize for that, guys. It's just kind of been a general uh, internet in the area issue. Huntress, ooh, scouting. Might as well get a scout if we can. Can't really board that right now. Get some looter kills in, do some more quests, and have some fun. This is this is definitely slowed and sped up the pace of the game. It's very interesting. Um, wow, the ball's away from me. Um, there are definite portions of the game that are slow, right? Progression is at a slower pace, but your character skill progression is at a faster pace, so I kind of like the trade-off. Juking me. say damn oh uh, i do also have relationship increasing so by killing these looters it actually increases my relationship with all these other little uh, local areas you'll see that lower left after the next battle i'll show after this battle i'll show you guys forward infantry move archers forward archers Move! They're shooting already. Ooh, yes, horsey. In charge! Oh. oh, fuck, I just go out here. So, 
when I press done, we'll see in the lower left corner. You can't see it because of my head. But it'll say... Uh, final relationship increases one, your relationship increased with nearby notables. So, by doing all this, we're getting a ton of, um, relevant experience, which is cool. A relevant, um, relation. Got a name for the horse? Yeah, Ethro, which is horse backwards. So, see, they've got relation four, which you don't normally get, right? So I already have like the second column, and I'm almost in the fifth column or a third column with uh, when I get that fifth relate. Oh, I'm good, Troggy. How are you doing, man? True G, it only increases if you uh, do quests. Fortunately, all the Vigila recruits, you know, those sweet hot Vigilas. I actually have not seen a single extortion from Deserter Quest. I need to we need to buy some more horses. This is ridiculous. This is just poppycock. still pretty slow, but... Hey, we'll stop at Rotai since we're over here. Bowman! Archer, move! Soldier, forward! Guys, I can't wait to play Ghost of Sushi. <laughs> the game is really fun. I'm all on a nice little neat line. Gallop. Ah. Good, getting some good experience, more uh, relationship increase, charm increase off that too. I like this patch. This patch is pretty sweet. He's got a minus one. Oh, it's like some of my favorite armor in the game right here. Love it. All right, what does that mean, True G? Real stitch luck. I don't think I've ever seen that. again. That Fausta there is going to rip my ass open. Yeah, but I kind of like don't like that. God, look at this dude. Ah. Ah. That was right through. That was right through. Oh man, God, this is just not a cool A. Eh? Away from me. 
Oh, Christ. Great, I get to deal with the jacked Legionnaire. Oh. This is not good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm good, Hugh. How are you doing, dude? That was close. That was close. That's... That is quite the acronym, True G. We meet again, Legionary. See the... There's a patch. Fix this. No, not really. Definitely cheesed. Oh, wait. The Green Knight! Travers, what's up, dude? Into it. We finally got one. <laughs> That's such a good point. Like just like the uh, the two D paper uh, people cheering. Oh, look at that little upgrade. Terrible looking. Absolutely god awful. But I will take it. Did this fix... Northern Light Harness? Nope, did not fix the Northern Light Harness. Even use other horses? Oh, that Sturgeon Trotter is looking mighty nice. There it is. Got a nice little increase right there. Maybe a better weapon? I'm using a Spatha. Yeah, uh, Man Pigeon, I don't know the rules, but it does increase their um, their base experience that they earn so that you actually do get, do get more. Yeah, I got a great piss pot. Piss pot? My my guys have been getting this insane experience. You too, Dragon Overlords. Make sure you hey, if you've got a tendonitis in your knees, this, this might not a hundred percent help, but stretching your quad should take off pressure on your knee from your quad muscle pulling up on your knee. Yeah, I, I want to try Scum and Villainy. Uh, West of Freya, I have not. Rashes now deal 50% damage and stun you. Longer, one-handed weapons you wield have their handling increased by 20%. I'm going to go Shield Basher. Uh, Lucas, they are all in the description. Oh, does it, True G? I did not know that, dude. Oh, the Wainwright is uh, engineering. That is what that is. Cataphract Lance, damn it. So handling man pigeon is basically the point in which you can max damage um, when you swing a weapon. You can do max damage when you swing. This is like no oh, specific one I like a lot.
It's also a mod, Phil Johnson. Woo! Excuse me, guys. Mm. Me again, Jesus. Phenomenon. That good food variety. Yeah, it's how much damage you can do in that swing arc. So a high handling means that um, you'll do more damage. You have a higher arc. I'm sorry. Here, let me just send you the picture. I got a picture. So basically, if you think of this, if you look at this picture, take a look at this picture. You can see there are two. Er, there are two uh, values here. So B stands for the beginning of your swing. E stands for the end of your swing. The lower the handling, the smaller the sweet spot in your arc of damage. So in so, for example, at the beginning of your swing, you do less damage because your sword hasn't started to pass through. And at the end of your swing, it's going to do less damage because it's already ended the, the actual swing. So your handling is the increase of the max damage that in the uh, parabola, in the arc of your uh, swing, that you can do damage. So 85 means that you'll do max damage at a, at a larger portion of your swing. Like, see, these guys are already ready to go, man. Like, juice up over here. Footman! Uh, no, I man, pigeon, power! because. You can be skilled in the game. So you see when I, if I swing the sword? This Christ. When I swing the sword, you see that arc, right? So the swing itself, with higher handling, will do more damage in a larger portion of the swing. It has nothing to do with your actual skill. I mean, yeah, if your timing is good, I guess you could argue, but uh, it still means that you don't know that actual arc damage, right? Like, you don't know where in the arc it's actually going to affect the damage the most, so having high reduces your personal margin for error, I was... Yeah, I don't really like to do smithing because of how kind of, aha, beat up it is right now. Let's take a look at how this, I don't know how this will go right now. I don't know what the changes are going to be like for this. A little extortion, hopefully get some good units. We get the... Serves in here. Uh, what? Okay, well, guess we didn't get 
everyone in here. Well, that sucks. Archer forward! I got 15. Boom! Forward! Archers! Move! Infantry! Infantry! Move! Forward! Soldiers! Move! Archers! Oh, great. This is why I saved before I did. This is brutal, man. This should help. I'm gonna leave a duty. Someone's being captured. Man, it just beat the crap us. I don't know if I mean they're supposed to join. Yeah, the I mean, okay, this is this is even worse. The town's supposed to join us. Yeah! Uh Silverhand, yeah. Archers! Definitely unrealistic. Move and move! In fact, forward! Forward! Yeah! Archers! Stand apart! Footmen! Shields up! Go! Oh, we got that guy. Yeah! That guy. Yeah! Battle brother! Don't worry, Silverhand, I'll get back to it. Go! Were those all like in the face? Like, how did I die so? Look, I'm so peaceful. Dude, just dropped. Man. Look at him. He's like, yeah, yeah, that was pretty rough. Not gonna lie. I mean, at least we got some sweet loot off of it, but. Damn, dude. Uh, worst ways to die? I don't really know, man. Quite a lot. Seriously. I'd say anything involving the realm of chaos. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take it. Sorry. 
Because, oh, see, that gave me 20 honor. Wolf, well, there's no flanking there. That was just headshot after headshot for me. in this Dusty Spatha with an arrow fuller. It does give me one less speed on both things, but I get nine more cut and piercing. Monculus, I believe it's still pretty hopping. Locked. weird. I, I, I still think this is better. Huh. I think it's comparing the amount of things that are green to the amount of things that are red and saying, no, 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 you'll get this one instead. I have the equip best item mod on. That's what allows me to do that. Go around to the Lyceran. Man, that was spicy shit right there. We need a companion. I think we have enough money now to... Oh, we better not get in a fight. Engineer. Get out of the way. Move. Got it. 80 engine. Judo chopped. We need better armor. That is going to be order of the day. Okay, happen. That's eighteen hundred. We would, technically we should hold on to all that because we need to kind of get a new guy. We got to outfit him. Yeah, true G. That's what I'm trying to do. Lost strips. 1472. I mean, even that is going to be better than what I'm wearing because I'll get seven more leg armor or six more leg armor and some arm armor. Auxiliary armor is going to give us three more body and four and five. Eat that looks. Eat. Hey, Draken. No, there's no uh, beta right now. I'm just playing a, a modded campaign. Really worth the 1300 I say we'll just get the money. Hold off a little bit. Let's take a look at the... Maybe the Wanderers have updated and hopefully the... Pow! Oh, no! Crashed. Just a second. I hope we can get back in the game. There have been issues. So far, so good. <laughs> I actually don't know what's the most profitable right now, Draken. Oh no, something broke. I don't know what broke. I hate that. Some. This is the like the worst thing about dealing with mods is sometimes things can get very finicky. It should be uh, early next week, Kirby. Just 
it's crashing. Do I think recruitment should be for more faction restrictions? No, not necessarily. Moving all the mods I don't want. Right here. So, in case you guys are wondering how I troubleshoot mods. Photo mod. Crash. Why wow, that crashed? The, I mean, not really a mod. Equipment encyclopedia should not be a mod that would cause anything to crash. Crash. That last video you did about mod install. Yes, it was, Phil John. What's a DCC? Oh, crash again. Damn, I just shut off uh, Equip Best Item. It should still let the game boot up. It's not even letting it boot up. I don't have mod icons on anymore, Truji. Turned it off, off today because it was giving me so many issues. We're going to do a... I'm going to verify files just real quick. Give me just a second, guys. I'll use this time. We'll kind of... Um, verify file and take... I mean, that it randomly closed. All right, Hugh, have a good one, dude. We're validating some files, and that'll hopefully kind of uh, bring us back online. It's de detailed character creator has been uh, kind of a shit show for me, Tantan. -tan. I'm actually probably going to shut it off right now. That thing has not really wanted to boot up, but I got it to boot up on certain scenarios. The original process completely shut down, yeah. It won't even, it'll get me the white screen and just immediately shuts down. Verifying them files, so if you have any questions, I can answer them now. But if I've shut them both off, shouldn't that um, fix it? Well, I shut off the, the, the encyclopedia. And it won't even boot the game up. Uh, Bannerlord Tweaks. Uh, Lucas Knighton, I have issues with Bannerlord Tweaks actually booting. Uh, we were using uh, Realistic, Oswin. How do I feel about oatmeal? I eat a packet of oatmeal with peanut butter, cinnamon, and apples every day. So I like it. <laughs> Pineapple and pizza? Get that shit the fuck away from me. I mean, I'll eat it, because I'm I'm like a dumpster, I'll eat anything. Do they have a 55 gig file? Okay. Booting up again. Go on day, what up, dude? I'll just shut off detail character creation. Yeah, application faced a problem. We need to collect data. Let's do this. You'll cut off all the mods way. OK. 
Okay, no mods. It would. Let's boot it up in in uh what the fuck mode. Hey Lucas, uh, hey man, I'm new to the channel, but I'd like to say thank you. Your videos really helped me a lot on my. Well, I'm glad I'm glad they helped, man. Here, brother. I'm using 1.4.1. No beta. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. This is just the base game. Turned on that. Popping this open. Mod time. We're not going to load detail character creator. Won't load equip best item. That should be everything we just have. Yep, no. Mm hmm. hmm. We just had it up one day. Let me see. I'll switch it to 1.5.1. 1. 1.1.5. Uh, we are not using settlement icons. Settlement icons is a shit show right now. Sort. All right, so mods. By detail character creator. If you guys think I should move anything anywhere, I'll do it. I mean, equipment and encyclopedia, I'll just keep off for right now. Mod lib, what would you guys say? Mod lib looks rather low on your list. I have it just below mod menu. There. These DCC main required. Gotta go there. That wasn't there before. This is we will try now. Nope, crash. Damn, dude. Might also have an absent. I'm not trying to use settlement icons at all, Andy. It is not in this. That's what I was told, but I had them there because that's what um, Bill said. What up, Interface? He has it like this. Uh, yeah, but like I said, guys, it was working just fine and it just stopped. So that should not necessarily say that mod all of a sudden. I have not rolling day. Well, not working. I might have to. I might unfortunately have to end the stream, guys. You know, I had heard that too. I thought all the TW stuff had to be first, so I'll try that again. I'm just kind of going off what he said, and it was actually working. Okay, so that's all first. Nope, crash. Let 
mean, yeah, we did break it. You're you are totally right. I'm shutting off everything real quick. I do have better exception window, but it, it doesn't really give me the, the readings I want it to. So here, I'll put that up towards the top. See what's going on. I'll put everything back on and see what it gives us a specific breakdown of which one's going wrong. That's all what we had before. I don't think it pop. Yeah, it didn't populate. It didn't even get a chance to load in that. Uh, it didn't even get a chance to load in better exception window. In fact, I'm going to put that first to see if we can flag what's up. Fuck my hand. Dude, there we go. Something's like not even letting the game boot up. I might have to like restart the computer, in which case it would end the stream. Womp womp. That is some poopy poops, guys. We were having a good old time. Let's turn off all together. Right after the TW. Uh. Let's let's actually like unenable some mods too. Whoop, pop a vortex. So I switched from this. Like, this is what we were on to start with, 1.1.7. And you guys said, hey, roll off that, move back to 1.1.5. That might be a thing, man pigeon. Let's take a look. Because it, it'll boot up if I go into safe mode. Well, 1.1.6. Files. I want this is the one I want. Where do you have those? Can you tell I was looking at chairs. Okay, and let's disable. These are the two I've got, by the way. Tan, tan. Let's disable this one. One. Okay, so here's our load, load order. Fuck. 
So how do we want to sort this then? Banner. Shut off. Bear my banner. Bear my banner was causing issues too earlier. Unnatural. Okay. So. I want these guys at the top. Community pat. Lib. Okay, so auto sort then TW and MCM all through files mod lib another mod. Okay, let's try that. Lloyd. Now we'll try again. Yeah, I put the main MCM up above the rest. Right. Nope, crash. Well, guys, I hate to say it, but we're going to have to end the stream here because I'm going to have to kind of troubleshoot what's going on. I, I bet you if I restart my computer, it'll all kind of fix itself. Kind of some horse shit. And if I do that, it'll kind of affect the stream. So we'll call it here for today. And we'll hopefully come back tomorrow with just a little bit more launch through Vortex top left button. Oh, okay. We'll try that. Well, so far so good. And there we go. That was weird. Try loading this in. Hey, Katarin, what's up, man? You run the Diplomacy Fixes mod. I can help you troubleshoot some things if you want. I think it... I don't remember if it happened. I don't remember if I put it on or not. Um, I was having some issues with it. 
But if you want to talk to me after the stream, maybe I can I can get it up and running. But yay, we're back. And hey, look at this. Jacked build. Riptosaurus Rex over here now. Can be a baby. Soldiers! A little taller. Yeah, so sorry about that, guys. Leave here now that we've done this. Background music is as loud as always. Yeah, there we go. That's why. Yeah, this is actually all super jacked up more than it usually is. I think it's using like a different, different settings. Sounds about right. All right. I usually have. Rain quality though that low. Interesting. I had turned off a lot of that stuff because there was issues with the FPS. It being much of an issue now. It's going directly through the ex executable and not through Steam. <clears throat> yeah, so that got rid of all of his gear. That's not too big. Wanderer. We'll probably stream for another like half hour or so anyway. <laughs> so this guy is at so Hussum Falk. Let's go to Hussum Falk though and grab this dude. Because we need ourselves uh Ooh. Let's try this. Oh god. I already see what's going on. So, god. Bloom, film grain, motion blur, we got all those off. Possible awesome down. If you're having general problems with your game, this all can help. Oh, foliage quality, that's gotta be a low. Grain quality can stay at high. Foliage quality though, that's just, just not, not needed. Better type, static only, and we can pop that down to medium. I think I had before. Video, uh, we need to. Okay, Tan Tan, I'll try and swap them out. Ability up. Need to swap. Is it? Ah, there we go. Oh, shit. Just a brutal melee. Yeah, I can't process anything. People are just getting, like, shot apart and killed over here. Dude, it's just like... This cavalry is just king right now. My guys aren't doing too terrible. God. Hey guys, do you make sure you're liking the stream. It does help me out a ton. Oh, 
Oh! Well, this ain't gonna go too well. All that stuff is Pater there. He's just getting skewered. Come on, Pater. Come on, Pater. He had just la he just lasted one more wound. Would have been fine. But instead got killed. Okay, we'll do. I'll, I'll fix it after this. Um, I mean, man, that was, that was some spicy shit, guys. Really, the game like look even sharper. And probably because the stability of the game has gone up over time, and I was able to. Right. Good. It's a good thing I ransomed all the prisoners I didn't want to ransom. Oh well. Oh well. Um, it's probably because I have not turned up the graphics on the game in a long time. Opposing guard can't. Infect And there's been a lot of stability increases and such, so. Seventies sofa fabric. Only the finest. Yeah. Those goodies. Let's go ahead and turn audio. Turn the audio to sixty. That should be better. We're gonna kind of make our way over there to Hudson Falk. Just like right over here, which isn't bad. I like to go with a nice uh, leather armchair as my uh, bird Forward! type of yeah, protection. Cars! that bad moment when all of your troops have better armor than you do. Aha! Oh man, this is gonna be so lovely.
555, I'll take it. I will take it. My bald head will take it. He's gonna be just terribly equipped. Ooh, shoot. Let it be known, man pigeon. Let it be known, dude. Southern horseman arm. Pretty funny. Denustica and Razi. Okay, I'll go to Denustica. See what it's got to denust me. I don't think this guy has any writing. Yeah, he does. Just gotta give him some armor or else he will die. Plan, and we can make him our surgeon. Quartermaster ship. That is a little bit better for us. Real nasal helm. See what we get. I wanted it to be like. Banded leather armor, or woven leather armor. I can actually sell this for, oh my. Well. This is going to be a shit show. Alright, Zyphere, thanks for jumping in, man. Always good to see you, dude. Yeah, we'll probably do, uh... About 10 or 15 minutes more. Where's Beatrice? Beatrice! Got her. I'm gonna go with the flow, Ivan. I mean, this is mainly just to kind of play some Banner Lord until uh, we get, um, what's it called? Patch. Mark Platt and I usually do that. It's just like a. So. Oh. That was right. Goes your horse, buddy. Oh man, you guys go first. Good job, good job, guys. Good job. Nice. Ugh. Well, it's better that they do this now in early access than later, you know? Oh, fell, fall through again there, huh? 
There it is. All right, I'll fix. Have a good one, man. Thank you for joining in. Nasal helm, place the pot pissing helmet. Well, the nasal helm's like pretty good, but I like that helmet way more. Um, I could give this to this dude, but that a little. I'm alar. I totally agree with you, Rolande. Like, I know what I'm getting myself into. Like. Take its time, let it fix what it needs to fix, and hopefully we'll all have a pretty awesome game when it comes out. Well, yeah, it comes out. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. Maybe I'll just give it to this guy for now. Need to not wear that, though, because that thing is... Get you killed. Give him a little cheapo shield here. That's such a cool banner. Such a cool banner. I, I maybe not so. Hey, Marrow Hill, what's up, dude? Ooh. Infantry! Oh, let's make it look scholarly. Now he's not so damn small. Good point. I that's a really good point. I'll rally behind that one right there, dude. Yeah, I totally agree with you, man. Like, I mean, if you're complaining about a game in early access, there's some sort of weird thing with the gaming community where they expect everything to be flawless out the gate when you basically... It's like it's like playing a beta and reviewing the beta. Like, it's just not going to be... It's not going to be, like, sterling for you. You gotta wait. Like, we all want a finished product, sure, but it, you signed up knowing you're not getting a finished product. That's That's what the namesake is in early access. Oh no. Well. They're only looters. I say that. Move it! Move it! Forward! Move! Make a shield, archers! Loose formation! Arrows! Oh, 
Like no one played the stress like the stress test for World of Warcraft and said, hmm. 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 Like these these servers they're, they're, they they won't do. Like, yeah, that's the point of the stress test. Like Warband is not a good game. Well, I'm I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Warband is an excellent game, but Warband doesn't hold up to the test of time without the modding community. And the, the same thing could be said for almost every single um, Total War game, right? Total War Warhammer 3, or 2, 2, is only still a game because of a badass modding community. No, you're totally right, badass part of the thing. <laughs> Mess you up. What do you want? Artisans? What do you want? Poachers? And what do you want? Fencing some. Army of poachers might be good. What seconds I want? I don't agree with you on that, Ivan. I don't agree with you. Uh, we've created a new beta in Early Access, and we've called that Early Access an unfinished product. And there, there's something called a, um, a MVP, Minimum Viable Product. And the way a lot of companies actually work that are outside of the gaming world is you push out an MVP and you have customer feedback fix your actual product. Now, early access is a gaming version of an MVP, the minimum viable product. This is exactly what they're like, hey, we can push this out the door. We can say that this is pretty much like 60% complete or it's got a, the majority of the structure we want to work with. And you guys will then continue to give us feedback that will then change the game. Um, I've talked to the internal beta tester and we're getting changes to the game that they haven't had and they've been playing the game for 10 years. So I understand where you're coming from, but when you're purchasing a game that is called an early access, you're buying a minimum viable product. And at $60, you know what you're getting yourself into. You can't say, doesn't matter what it's called, you paid $60, you should get a, a finished game. Well, not if the caveat is, you're not getting a finished game. Well, do not play, it's broken. <laughs> That's also true, Ivan. That is also true. I mean, uh, look at it this way. Uh, let's take a look at um, No Man's Sky, which a game Evan and I both took work off to play the day that it launched. We were stoked. We had fun the, the first day. It did, wasn't quite, didn't quite live up to the hype, but they have made leaps and bounds in that game since its release. And the game is completely unrecognizable the way it is now. Seems like
Uh, Lucas, I also stream on the weekdays. Evan, I still haven't played uh, No Man's Sky as it is now. Ah. I can negotiate with the poachers? Hello. Seventy one percent. That's my point, Crisps. Is that game was marked as finished. This game should have been or that game should have been marked as early access, if anything, because it virtually lacked everything it it hyped. There we go. And this game, it has it has things that are missing that it's hyped, but it says it's hey, we're not we're not there yet. I mean, first patch out the the first year after it came out, it was super awesome. It, it took even more time though for it to be cooler. Evan, did you see the the big new patch they just released though to make it into like a horror game or something? MCC? What's MCC? Hey, we got 3,000 money. I kind of want to do... I, I have to find a game I'm going to play. Come... Um, October? And make it like, oh, this is the October game I'm going to stream. And I don't know what... We'll probably have a better game out around then that's like spooky scary. But there, we've got to see what goes on there. And just, I will wail. I will be so scared playing those games. I'm just trick to sell that. Oh, Master Chief. Got you. Man, I miss Halo. Yeah, let's get some of these nice guys. These are little jack dudes. I really didn't finish my comparison, Jason. I was saying more that No Man's Sky was a full game. And this isn't. And the full game still came around. And we're saying that this is not a full game yet. And people are bitching like it is a full game. Complaining, sorry. You know, I will say that that's a, that's another big thing that's really common in, in the gaming industry is making these comparisons from game to game. Like, if you're reviewing a game, you should be able to make like an. Uh... God, I fucking love. I cannot, Ivan. I can't wait for Darkest Dungeon two. Um, you should be able to. You shouldn't be. It should be considered bad reviewing to say this game is derivative. Like, every game borrows from other games. Like, oh yeah. Um, like, I'm one of those people that are like, I like bad movies. I love bad movies. Like, B movies are just Jesus. What the hell? Okay, you need to get fucked, guy. Like, people, people shit all over uh, the newest Castlevania that was released. They're saying it's too derivative, it's too derivative. I'm like, yeah, but if it's a working, if it's a working formula, let's, Ninja Through the Domination, 
let's not ruin a working formula. They're saying that Castlevania, um, going with Patrick Stewart, is too derivative of uh, God of War. But yeah, if I have an Xbox, I don't have God of War. And if I want that God of War experience, and I am a huge Castlevania fan, why not put two awesome things together? Dude, that haunted hotel level is actually spooky, dude. Mero, that scared me so much. Dude, Jason Phillips, 100%. It's also why I don't review games. Like, I, I don't ever put up like, hey, here's my review of this game. Because I have bad tastes in a lot of things, I can only tell you like, hey, here's certain features that I do and don't like about this game. Um, like an impression style video. Because, <laughs> like, if I'm willing to watch a marathon of Jean, of uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme or Steven Seagal movies and watch them with serious enjoyment, not ironic enjoyment, then I should not be qualified to review video games. I'm sorry. <laughs> because I kind of look at it all as, like, its own individual experience. Exactly, dude. Lord of Shadows is a great game. And it, it didn't get the amount of acclaim it deserved because people said it's too derivative. Exactly, Rolande. Every single game has got two, like, has a ton of derivative factors. I like Super Castlevania, but that was like... That was my youth right there, bro. Um, the, the games that aren't derivative, that truly stand out, though, Roland Day, are games like Darkest Dungeon, but even that has certain derivative elements. But the games that are truly unique, right? Like, um, Minecraft is truly unique in its own way. But there's always some element that has to be copied because it works. Like, Witcher 3 is heralded as an amazing game, right? It's, for a lot of people, um, it's the best game of their life. And I honestly think it's probably one of the best RPGs until more recent games came out, took the Witcher formula, and said, let's take out these things, let's add these things, and let's make it more streamlined, a little bit easier to deal with. Like, you just... Every single game has to improve upon the last. It's just kind of how it goes. And if it doesn't, you can say, yeah, well, not too great. Assassin's Creed, that's a good example, too. Those are uh, those games have... Uh, like, the first one and the second one are such... Such a leaps and bounds ahead. The second one is so... I think it's Assassin's Creed 2. The, the Assassin's Creed 2 trilogy is probably the... Well, I think Black Flag, maybe. But those three are the pinnacle of both Assassin's Creed gameplay style and story. I really enjoyed Black Flag, though. One sec, guys. Probably be brain dead in October as uh, TK3 is out. You know, Roland Day, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is really good, but I was talking to Crisps about this. At that point, it's not really Assassin's Creed, it's just Warrior's Creed with assassin mechanics. Like, you, it's it's departed so far away from being an assassin in the assassin brotherhood um, and more about like hey let's make a really cool compelling RPG and I'm totally cool with that but make Origins and Odyssey just just start a new IP or a new name that, that bleeds into that IP maybe just don't go with the Assassin's Creed moniker like I think that they need to just drop it and just call it maybe Creed but then maybe immediately I start thinking of with arms wide open See, I agree with you. Lucas, I think Odyssey is a great game. 
I love it's Odyssey. Move, oh, I just don't think it's a great Assassin's oh, Creed game. Move. Loose soldier. Because Form a shield I, I'll be honest, in my Assassin's Creed Odyssey, I don't really play like stealthy. Like I'm just gonna get in there with my two swords and my Achilles armor and light everyone on fire. God, I miss Thief. The last Thief to come out was really solid. Yeah, call it Warrior's Creed, like I said. Yeah, like, just give it, like, a name that's just, like, you can be an assassin, you can be a warrior, you can be all these other different things. Oh, see, I didn't play uh, Odyssey Stealthy. I played it like, like a uh, fucking Spartan. I'm actually super stoked on Valhalla, to be honest, though. <laughs> like, I talk about how much, like, oh man, they just dropped the Assassin's part, make it Warrior's Creed, and then I, then I go, yeah, but like, Valhalla looks really fucking good. <laughs> I think uh, what Chris just said, that and I thought in Odyssey, there's just way too much busy work. I looked at all the questions, question marks after the first island refunded, that and its depiction of Spartans. Oh, well, dude, you and your, you and your history stuff. But I like in Valhalla, there's not side quests. There's not a ton of them. Because it's like, why would, why would this guy who is a, um, uh, a Dane who's invading have a bunch of side quests? It didn't make sense to us. I was like, oh, I appreciate that that development choice. I don't know, man. I loved Witcher 3. Okay. This. Get a little bit of them spare arrows, which will actually work now. Let's get one bop into that. I want to bring up this a little bit. I'm going to put it on Stewart. Perfect. Uh, do a scout? No, scout. Scout is down. A good, really good point, Man Pigeon. You really can't be. You have to kind of... Um, yeah, oh, for sure scooping you up, Izagund. You kind of have to take... 700. You have to take existing things and kind of make them work for you. Lucas, I don't know. You can... There seems to be a lot of cool things going for it, so I guess we'll see in time. Guys, we've talked about so many different things this stream. Perks work now, Patty Baker, but I'm using a community patch that turns them all on. We don't know what we're going to get in that next patch that might turn them all on, fix them. Time will tell. At least we made all of our money back picking up a uh, lovely lady. Fish, meat, some beer, some butter. for the crash, but there is not a thing you could do about it. Well, thank you very much, Wester Freya. Sorry about the crash. <laughs> I, I Everyone's told me I should get Kenshi. Kenshi 2 is coming out, though, isn't it? Me too, man, Pigeon. Me too, dude. I really want them to flesh out roguery in this game. Oh, 
Okay, so let's go over here to, uh, you know what? Let's go to... We're gonna go to Bysan. We're gonna go ahead and end our stream once we're there. That'll give us a pretty good starting point to jump into Vassalage and such like that next stream, which we will do tomorrow at 11 or so a.m. Uh, Pacific time. I am going to uh, relax for the rest of the day and play some Ghost of Tsushima. But hopefully we do get a patch here next week so I can cover that in its entirety because I really want to do another unit guide video. I want to expand more on what I've already covered on and do um, a patch notes video, all sorts of stuff. But it's all kind of based upon when we're going to ever going to get, if we're ever going to, we are going to, but when we get that patch. So hopefully we'll be able to get that here Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Um, Thursday is the last day you can receive a patch a week. They said they don't like to release them on Fridays. Um, because then it will, um, there's a chance that something could break and they won't be able to get back to it. So they want to not do that. So if we don't get a patch by Thursday, it's going to be the week after it probably looks like. <sighs> Maybe we should. Mm, no, we'll, 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 we'll open up the next stream with that. So we'll go ahead and save this right here. Let's give a quick shout out here though to... Our, uh, I think we only got one donation. Oh, Stephen Carpenter is a new member of the channel. I thought he already was. That's weird. Um, but Ephraim Va donated a total of $15 here today. So thank you very much, Ephraim. Really appreciate that. We wanted to roleplay the game. Oh, 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 in this, yeah. I think a lot of people do. A lot of people want to get... Um, gameplay attached to the gang leaders in Mountain Blade 2, and hopefully we will. Jason Phillips, as a dev, Friday patches scare the crap out of me. <laughs> You're considered Norse. Absolutely, Ivan, thanks for watching, man. Marrow Hill, thank you for watching as well. Tan Tan, I'll see you tomorrow, dude. I'll take a look at some of those mods and swap some shit out. Yeah, Lucas, what would make them historically accurate is if the Vikings had horns. It's a joke. It's a joke. Don't get mad. Man, Roland Day and Crisps, so you guys are, are going to go at it. I can already tell. Uh-oh. Using full names and he's using dates. Can Crisps come back? We're in the second half here of the historical debate on Italian Spartacus stream. Crisps is ready to kind of throw it down. Uh-oh. He's bringing up the Dane Law. This is a famous portion of a big person known as uh, what's his nuts the great. Uh oh, Chris is writing a diatribe. I can tell. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and shut the stream down before they uh, they resort to fisticuffs. Um, but we will be back here tomorrow, 11 a.m. PDT, to do another one. Um, and we'll kind of just continue this little kind of short, uh, short t -t 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 form campaign. Just having fun with some of the mods. Um, if I can find some more that don't break the game, I'll add them on. But uh, we'll see what thing, how things go. Uh, week here to hopefully get another patch. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one and take care. Chris is going at it. All right, guys. Have a good one.